Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today's video is really a follow-up on 35 plants that you can plant in August and July. I wanted to show you about 10 days later, today is August 14th, how quickly the plants that I talked about germinate. We're going to cover about 20 of them. I want to start out with bush beans, four of them right in here, and spinach, which is shielded with this foil tray to give it some shade, keep the soil cooler. These are put in on August 4th. Ten days later, the spinach is doing beautifully. They do like a little bit of shade. I will link the video in that shows you how to build this, but it's basically just a cover over your container. You can use that for the ground. Bush beans look really good. Ten days of growth. They germinate really quickly. And sometimes the seeds might struggle. That guy's a little bit small. But basically, you know, what is that? A good four inches, five inches of growth in ten days. All right, and we're going to just pop around um, to plant variety to plant variety. The peas look good. These are put in on August 4th, and everything that you see here was probably planted August 4th, 5th, and 6th. 10 days, they look really good. The whole key for anything that you're dropping as seeds now in August is to really keep the soil moist. You're gonna have to be watering really every other day. They look pretty good, 10 days worth of growth. You wanna get the peas in now, early, you know, test it out in your area so that these get to full maturity before the frost comes because even though the leaves can deal with a frost, the pods and flowers can't. This is a 65 day cantaloupe. You can put in melons that mature quicker to harvest in like 65 or 70 days. These are put in on August 6th. That's only eight days. They germinate really quickly in the warmth of August. And I will thin these down to two plants to grow up this trellis. Not only are they uh, 65 days to maturity. They're also a dwarf variety cantaloupe. Just want to add real quick, we're going to cover 22 plants today that germinate in about 10 days. Plants that you can plant in August and September. Check out the iCards end screen and video description for the original video of 35 plants you can plant August, September. And also check out my blog, The Rusted Garden Journal. It has a complete list of all the plants that I've planted in August. We have three varieties here. Part of what happens with August is that it's really warm. So the cool weather crops, we have radishes, romaine lettuce, pak choy back there. These are daikon radishes. These are put in on 8-6, also eight days worth of growth. Absolutely beautiful. Sometimes they accelerate into growth, like the pak choy back there is really tall. It might be a little bit early for them. Again, today is August 14th. So you want to experiment a little bit. Put some in, you know, beginning of August, middle of August, end of August, and that will help you figure out the sweet spot for planting your cool weather crops. Radishes look great. You know, eight days, they already look like that. The romaine lettuce is coming up. That'll be thinned down to one or two plants, and the pak choy will also be thinned down. Extremely quick germination. You have plenty of time to plant seeds into the garden for the fall. Again, please check out my blog, The Rusted Garden Journal, for the 35 plants you can plant in August and September. These are warm weather crops. You have plenty of time to get some of these in. I'm in Maryland Zone 7. Three seeds went in. I'm going to thin this down to the strongest. You can do that now. And these went in on August 4th. So 10 days, my zucchini plant is this large. They're going to start producing from germination in as little as 35 days. Right over here, forgot to water this space. This is red cabbage. The red cabbage went in also on whoop, on August 6th and that's already germinated. Cool weather crop may not get full size heads of the red acre cabbage, but I can eat the leaves and I have the plants in here. You can see they've already germinated. Collards and kale are great cool weather crops. These went in on the 6th, so eight days. Little collard coming up, a couple more, and then I have kale right back there. They are perfect to seed in August for a fall garden. All the plants here were put in on August 5th. We have mustard greens, one group, another group right in there, and another group there, and a fourth one right there. They grow extremely fast. You can really plant mustard greens well into September here in Maryland. Some bib lettuce right here, going to be thinned down to a single plant. Radishes, look like a rabbit got to some of them. Radishes down the middle, and then that's endive right in here. You can plant kohlrabi, that's one of my favorite vegetables to grow. Kohlrabi, kohlrabi, and then we have some more right over there. 
Looks like the seeds in here didn't come up. That's a potato. And looking back over here, radishes grow really quickly. So I put them right down the middle. Endive grows a little bit more slowly so the radishes will finish out by the time the endive takes over this space. In this space we have beets, turnips, bunching onions, and the bunching onions are up. Let's see if we can get to those. And you can see them starting to sprout up right in there. Bunching onions can go out into the garden throughout the whole season. They're frost tolerant and some of mine even last through the winters here in Maryland. These all went in on actually August 3rd, so these are 11 days old. Lots of beets have already come up. Perfect cool weather crop. Turnips in here will be thinned down to one plant. Turnips are super fast growing. You can put them in through late August into September. And then I even have carrots coming up. And they're just starting to really break the surface. Again, keep up on the watering. It'll be a huge issue if you don't because the sun dries out that top two inches so fast it can kill off your germinated seedlings. Tucked in here using the corn is shade. I have arugula all the way down and that went in, oh it's on this side, on August 4th. 10 days and all the arugula is up. I'm not going to thin that down. I cut the leaves really quickly. Just leave the roots in. You'll get more arugula. Arugula likes the cooler weather. Plant them where there's a lot of shade and in this case the corn is doing it. Another crop you can plant now, warm weather crop, are cucumbers. They germinate quickly. These were put in on the 6th, so 8 days. These will be thinned down to two plants. They will go up my cattle panel. The warm weather crops germinate, again, much more quickly than you think, and they grow really fast. The beauty of putting in cucumber, squash, zucchini, melons now, your warm weather crops, is they get started but the diseases and the pests that usually hang around in July and August start going away. So these are going to be really healthy come middle of September when you start to harvest. So it's a great way to extend the warm weather crops by planting them a little bit later in August. I keep planting waves all summer long. My summer garden, the warm weather crops, are alive, kicking, growing, doing well. Beautiful zucchini plant right down there. And you can see everything is growing well. But don't forget that in August, here in Maryland, you have to go up or down, you know, a couple of weeks depending on where your garden is. You can get more warm crops into the ground, direct seed. Definitely get your cool weather crops in. And you're going to be happier, I think, because we all get beat up a little bit like this cucumber plant in the middle of July, middle of August. Even though everything is still producing, I want to have a garden in the fall. So I just wanted to show you the speed of how quickly some of these seeds germinate because people don't understand that the seeds germinate more quickly the seedlings grow much more quickly and you can really have a beautiful fall garden if you get started in august thanks for watching please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com i have a new podcast that's linked in the video description and please check out my blog the rusted garden journal and it lists again all 35 plants that i planted out here today we only looked at maybe 15 but there's at least 35 you can get in right now. Thanks for watching.